Alright, welcome back everybody. Aesop Grim here. This is the continuation of our uh, Elite Dangerous Engineering Chronicle. We're going to be working on Felicity today. Not Felicity. M Marduk? Yeah, we'll take a look at it. Elvira Martuk. Okay, now. Let's talk about her for a minute. She also does frame shift drives. And you know what? I thought about this off screen, and then whenever I start recording the video, I just didn't do it. But I probably should have used her to upgrade the frame shift drives for uh, the Python and the crate. Because it would have gained us reputation with her. I made a mistake, you know, I just, I forgot about it. I got wrapped up in what was, you know, verifying things and seeing how the remote workshop was working and all that, but I should have done that. But what she does is she does shield generators and frame shift drives. The big thing that she does though, because we've already gotten frame shift drives knocked out with Felicity, she really just acts as a stepping stone to a couple other engineers. I can't remember their names right now. But that's what her, her purpose is. So what I did is I looked up her shield generator. She does up to grade three. That's what we're going to do. Uh, I am in my crate. Now that I have the frame shift drive engineered, it goes just as far as the ASP does. So I'm in the crate. Uh, I don't have a lot of cargo space. I have four tons worth. <laughs> but... um. But that's what we're working with. Uh, I'm in the crate. We're going to go out here. We're going to get the crate's shields modified. And hopefully that will unlock, that will gain enough reputation with her that she uh, will unlock the other engineers for us. Or she'll, she'll point us in their direction. She'll give us the invitation. Okay, now, you can see that we know about her from public knowledge. So that already starts off as checkmarked. And then you gained access to Elvira Martuk because you have attained a minimum distance from your career start location of at least 300 light years. Now, if you did this, or if you, uh, if you had to follow the advice I gave where you needed to get the exploration rank for Felicity, and so what you needed to do was you needed to do a Road to Riches mission out all the way out to Maya where you were going to need to buy the, a metal alloy anyway in order to give to her, to, to give to Felicity. If you did that, you have you should have unlocked this already. I didn't have to do that, so I haven't done, I haven't gone this far yet. And I will show you how you can check it for sure. And you go to Codex, Commander, uh, go to Stats, and uh, go down to Exploration, and uh, Proximate from Start is what I'm looking for. Systems visit, level 2 details, efficiency bonus, hyperspace distance, that's my total. Distance traveled for the SRV, approximate time played, level 3 detailed skin, uh, scans, profits from exploration, highest power. Uh, oh, there it is. Max distance from start. I am at 243 light years and I need 300. So if you went to Maya, you should have accomplished this already. If you haven't, or if you're in my position, um, where you're a little bit short, then what we're going to do is we're going to access the galaxy map and what uh, what Elvira requires is three Soontil relics. Those can be found, they're only sold one place, so kind of like the metal alloys. Those can be found at, uh, gosh, I can't remember the name. We'll find out what it is. Very near to where that station is, is the actual place that the Soontil relics come from, called appropriately Soontil. 
And if we travel to Suntil, according to down-to-earth astronomy, we should gain our 300 light year. I think it's 306 light years. And I am not seeing... The system, it's called like Nefuji or something like that. It's a little bit of a weird name. I kind of expected we would see it right away. It, I know it's close. It's really close. It's like one jump away. Uh, how aggravating. Okay. Let's uh, unlock the display. Because I'm going to want to show you some stuff anyway. But let's look up Suntil Relics. They can be purchased... Nagiri. Nag probably Nagiri Eye. Okay, so here's Suntil. Now that doesn't seem very close. Maybe it looked different when Down to Earth showed it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to confuse you guys anymore, though. Let's just run with it. We're going to go out to Soontil, and that's supposed to get me my 300 light years. Then we're going to go to Nagiriai, and then we're going to proceed to where she's at. Okay. Now, what I have done, the other thing I wanted to show you, is I added a shopping list. I called it Shield Generator Thermal Resist, because that's what I'm going to get. I have Biweave Shields. I'm going to get the Fast Charge uh, exper Experimental Effect. I'm going to roll Grade 1, Grade 2, and do one roll of Grade 3. That's, that's the plan. So, uh, this is my shopping list. And I went around to different material traders until I had all of this filled. So I have exactly what I need to do that, and hopefully that will get me enough reputation with her to unlock the other stuff. I'm also going to try and give her cartographics data. Okay, so that's the plan there. Let's go ahead and lock display capture. And we'll uh, alt-tab back in. I already have soon till... I need to make sure about that. I don't know if I have that plugged in. Do I? I should. Let's just do it again. Okay. Next jump. Why is it doing that? Yeah, see, this isn't taking. Why is it not taking? There we go. That seemed to take. I'm 10 jumps out. Alrighty, auto launch. Now, the one limiting factor, I don't know how much these things weigh. And I only have four tons of cargo space. But we need three of them. I'm assuming they're one ton each, if that. They may not even be that, you know? But I don't know for sure. So, it is a little bit of a gamble. I tried to look it up. I couldn't find anything. clicks not bad with a fast recharging engine okay and off we 
we go. I'm gonna put you guys on pause. We're 10 jumps out. Pause right now. Okay, welcome back everybody. We are in the Soontil system. Let's bring up the system map and see what we're dealing with here. Just out of curiosity. Okay, all planets, no stations. I just got done fuel scooping, by the way. Uh, so we're full on fuel. And... Let's check... Our Kodax. And, uh... Click on Commander, go to Stats, go to Exploration. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> That is unfortunate. I don't... Uh, oh, you know what? I think I need to dock at a station for that to log. So, uh, what I can do is... Open up the display. I need a uh, nearest station. How do I do that? Maybe go to EDDB. I know how to do it from there. And we'll click on stations with a reference system of Suntil. And uh, let's see, minimum landing, max distance of planetary requires permanent powers, facilities, stations and modules, government. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not getting something tiny. I don't know if it matters or not. Let's hit find stations and then sort by distance which it should already be yes caddy barracks well that's on a planet I think I'd rather go to Oberth dock let's open this up in a separate tab it's got large landing pads so it's a decent sized place market outfitting restock refuel shipyard yeah okay if it's got a shipyard and stuff that should do how far away is it 80.04 and it's in the Koyotani system okay exit out of here bring up the system map Koyotani now that might have seemed like it went a long ways away but I'm I'm zoomed in this should only be like two or three jumps let's find out four okay Alright, well, that's where we're going to go. I'm going to put you guys on pause again. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We are jumping into the Koyotani system. Where we will locate um, the dock that we targeted, land, and hopefully update distance from starting system for my commander here, Commander Asa. Alright, we got Oberth Dock right here. It's very close. Okay, 75% throttle. Should be that blue light. Try and kind of skate around the planetary gravity. I sped up to reacquire that uh, seven seconds. There we go. Station is under Imperial sovereignty. All regulations must be observed. 
Docking request has been approved. Please proceed to bay 1-1. We are ready to engage the automatic docking system. Maybe we can get nice views. I just like practicing with the camera a little bit. Look at the details. Oh, man, these docks are, these orbitals, they all look the same, you know? I mean, I think they have slightly different color schemes sometimes with the lighting, but they're just so well done. I never really get tired of looking at them. Whoever put that design together really did a good job. I'm going to go to the hangar because I don't know if maybe we need to do that to trigger anything. So I just figured, ah, let's just go ahead and get into the hangar. Okay. Codex. Commander. Stats. Exploration. Ah, oh, that gummit. Yeah, that's frustrating. I don't know really what to do about that, guys. I mean, I guess I could go to Maya. How far is Maya? Well, I mean, since we're here, maybe, um... Nagiri eye. I'm telling it's two jumps away. So I doubt that that's going to make a difference. But we'll give it a shot. I'll put you on pause right now. All right, welcome back, everybody. Coming up on Chernovsky City, which is where they sell the Suntil relics. see these screens out front that means it's a, a high-tech facility I'm not for sure I can't remember and that just simply might mean it's a large facility I don't really know find out if I have enough cargo space. Commodities market. Uh, there's Suntil record, uh, relics. They have 400 of them. I need three. doesn't give me any tonnage I mean I'm assuming zero of four means I have four tons of cargo space 
Maybe it's four units. Okay, it filled up three of four. So, checking Kodax. Yeah, still 243. Hmm. All right, how far is Maya? That's a little bit, that's a little bit out there. Uh, jump range says it's 27 light years. No, that's my jump range. Shouldn't this tell me how far we're going? It's 509 light years away. Okay. So that would definitely be enough. Um, yeah, 23 jumps. Okay, well. Hmm. Let me pause you for a second. I want to just kind of make sure about, about some things. Let me, let me put you on pause. Okay, guys. I, I couldn't find anything as far as like how to get the system to update your jump range. And so, I think I'm gonna just shut the episode down and I'm gonna make that uh, 23 or whatever jump out to Maya. Hopefully go ahead and get the invitation from her. And then I'm gonna head out to Kuhn, K-H-U-N. Kuhn is the system that she's located in. So I'm going to do all of that off screen and uh, in the next episode, we will open up at her location in Coon so that we can go ahead and, and get through the engineering there. I'm kind of wondering if I'm, you know, if, if we need more than just the three upgrades I'm planning on doing, the grade three upgrades to shields, then we might need more time for the episode, you know, so I want to open it up in Coon. So there you go. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to end this episode off screen. I'm going to make the trip to Maya, which is 500 light years away and should get me that 300 light year from career system accomplishment, according to down to earth astronomy and a few other places too. Um, and then I should get the invitation from her. I've already got the relics in my cargo space. So then I will travel out to Coon. And in the next episode, at the beginning of that episode, we should be opening up at her location in the Coon system. All right, thank you for coming by the channel. I am Aesop Grimm, and I will see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.